Hey guys, this is John, and I've got Saya in the one-minute pool to start out. Saya has been a tough opponent for me in recent times, so let's try to turn this trend around against him, huh? Theoretically, he's very strong, um, as in his preparation is very good. His openings seem solid. He knows what he's doing in most every major line. This line is a good example. He's playing this quite well. What is Rook A8? I don't know what that move is about. That looked like a slip to me. Uh, let's go Bishop F4, and maybe I'll try to exploit the d6 weakness. Maybe I can go e5? Hard to say. Let's start on this move first. Just see how it reacts. Uh, I don't know if I want to trade. We'll go back. Mm, let's go here. Let's get our king out of the way. Okay, now he wants to trade. I'm going to try to go bishop g2 and then play for f4. I think that's what I like in this position. Uh, ideally, I'd like to go f4, e5, and d6. Just open it all up. I got an edge here. This is looking good. Um, I just have to manage the position properly. This knight is out of play, and I don't think he can stop e5 now. The only thing is maybe I'm letting this knight back in the game via this square, but that's a risk I'll have to take. Uh, we're, we're sacking the exchange, definitely. This looks tremendous. Okay, he can't take because of uh, bishop. the bishop coming in. Okay, this, this looks pretty good. It maybe wins the exchange back almost? He'll probably take, so he's not going to let me. Uh, let's go here. Time warning. Let's Check. go here. Maybe I can um, try to get f5 going is what I'm thinking. Hmm. Check. Let's go check. h4. For the moment, I have him completely tied down. Check. Let's give it a check first. Yeah, this is this is just awesome. Let's push this pawn. Check. Okay, yeah, I'm winning if not for the clock. Check. 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 Uh huh. Yeah, I think I got that. Okay. All right, so I got Saya at the end. That's tough though. He's not easy. Um, at twenty three eighty seven, that's that's some difficult points to earn, especially when I'm at twenty five forty four. So. Yeah, the, the trouble with him is he plays kind of similar to me. I mean, he plays, he doesn't play junk openings in bullet. He sticks to mainline stuff. Uh, the fact that he knew about this early knight h5, which is a good move in this line, in this particular variation of the Benoni, if black's going to make this line work, I think that's a very good option for them. So it's hard to play against a player who, who knows what they're doing in the opening in, in bullet. So nevertheless, we survived that one. Okay, I'll take and see if I can go knight d4. Uh, now we have like a King's Indian position against Terror. I'm going to bring my knight back to c2 just to cramp him. I don't want him to uh, be able to do such easy exchanges, so that's why I'm playing it this way. I wonder who he's up to with Queen c8. Don't really understand that move. I'll come to d5 with this knight. Uh, maybe he'll take once and then I can... I was thinking I could get knight b5 in. I'm attacking c7. If he plays c6, I do have this move. Now I can take his bishop on the next move. Yeah, and he resigned. That looks like a miscalculation by him, because um, after knight b5, I don't think he can get away with c6. He has to somehow defend it, but he can't. There's no rook a7. Um, and if he takes on b5, I can take with my pawn, and then there's the rook joining the attack on c7, and also there's threats on b6. All right, so good start to the session. I'm in the pool again, just checking out who's playing right now. Recording this about 11.30 p.m. on uh, Tuesday night. 11.30 p.m. U.S. Central Time, that is. All right, we've got Terror again. Uh, okay, this is like a pseudo-Trumpowski, they call this line, with bishop g5. This is interesting how he's playing it with knight c3, almost daring me to take that pawn. I am not going to take it. I'm just going to let him think that I might take it. So that's, that's all I'm going to do over the next few moves. Hmm, he's still daring me to take it. Not going to take it. <laughs> Still not going to take it. Now I definitely don't want to take it because uh, he could potentially pin me with like bishop takes b4, knight a2 or something. So let's go c5. Ooh, b5 would be a good move by him in this position. I have to be a little careful. I think I should take on g3 on my next move. And then rook c8? Sure, attack this. Um, hmm. 
Okay, I'll go here. I think he may be a timely break in the center, but now. Yeah, try to get counterplay. Ooh, this is pawn grabbing by Terror. Well, you know how we deal with pawn grabbers. We try to punish them. Don't know if it'll happen in this position. He's making his way to d3. That's annoying. Okay, let's go rook e3. Actually, that move loses a pawn. I probably should not have played that. Um, hmm, let's go down with the rook. Oh, he can take b7, though. Guess we're doing this. I'm hoping I can stop that pawn. Ooh, that's a, that's Time a good warning. Move. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go here. See if he'll take my knight on f6. Yeah, I've got to be very careful. Check. Okay, now he's got to be thinking about some stuff though. Okay, I'll take here. He can hide his rook on g1. I'm threatening back rank checkmate. Check. Check. Uh, let's go here. Check. Oh. Okay, I got him on the clock at the end. Well, maybe some of the decisions I posted him earlier came back to benefit from me because um, we did not play that game particularly quickly. 45 moves and he flagged and I had three seconds left. That's, that's under where you'd like to be. I mean, it, it seems like most of the good bullet players like try to average 60 moves a game. So 60 moves in a minute. It's a tall order, but uh, I think if you want to be hitting all, all cylinders and bullet, you got to be averaging roughly around that number. All right, let's see if Saya does this like b4 and then this knight b5 move again. I buttered my queen against him <laughs> somewhat recently in this line. This is purely a trappy line. It's not a good line at all, but you know, I think he just plays it because <laughs> it gives me something to think about the opening at least. Purely a trap line. Um, let's go here. And we'll swing our queen over. So now I'm threatening maybe to take on uh, f3. Yeah, he's got to trade queens now. This is not good for him. So I'm just pretty much up a pawn right now. Let's go here and try to swap bishops. He probably won't take. Yeah, he doesn't take. Ooh, f7 I hung. That's not good. Check. Let's hide the king. Okay, we'll go here. Problem is, this pawn could be vulnerable on e5. Ooh, I do have h5, though, if I want it in order to um, trap his bishop. I'd like to do that move if I could. Uh, he has. He also has. Uh, this is getting weird. He has knight a6 check whenever he wants it. Um, I hope he doesn't see that, but. Okay, let's go here. This is getting really strange. He doesn't see it somehow. Check. Oh. <laughs> Bad news by me. Time. All right. I don't know what I'm doing right now. This is a convoluted game that's not working out in my favor. You can practically just play bishop c5, yeah. Uh, not good, guys. All right, let's go here. Let's just back off. Check. I think I'm mated. Um, yeah, I'm just mated in this position. All right, I resign. Mm, Saya. Yeah, he's tricky. It's very tricky. Right, we got to play more direct against him, maybe. I know he's theoretically good, but I, I, I think I can find some weakness in his in his repertoire. I think I can do it. It's going to be probably some sort of offbeat line that I catch him in, if I do catch him. But we'll see if I, I can do something against him. Like something like this. Like, okay, this is not a <laughs> spectacular line for me or anything, but it took him at least out of his comfort zone slightly. This looks like a good idea. Let's take now. For the moment, he's having to come up with something original. Okay, I can take that pawn. He can take on b2, that's true. Let's go knight e5, let's open some lines. Knight c6 is a threat, and so is taking on d5. Yeah, I got knight c6 in. Check. Let's give a check. And then if bishop f6, I'll play... Um, I was going to play queen f5. This is trickier now. Let's take check. here. Check. Take there. Go here. Yeah, he's in trouble now. Check. This is over, I think. Rook d1. And I have e4 to come, if necessary. 
All right. Back in the pool. I'm at 25.55. Huh. The last game against Saya. Let me just pull it up. Let's take a look. So, yeah, knight b5, queen a5. Previously, he's played queen h5 in this position, which threatens knight d6 check, discovery on the queen. Bishop c4 I don't think is as effective. Um, I thought maybe I could play c6, but actually of c6, I'm wondering if he has queen h5 again, threatening the discovery and threatening to take on f7. So therefore, I play knight f6. Yeah, and this position was awesome. This was rocking with the queen h5 resource. Oh, yeah. Maybe I could take on h3, but I just swap queens. Just uh, maybe I shouldn't have castled queen side. That might have been asking for it down the d file. Probably castling short would have been better. Yeah, and some improvement around here. Maybe maybe the direct knight f4 check. I let him keep both his bishops, and he got good play out of that. Okay, well, I'm in the pool still. Let's see who's playing at the moment. I guess we'll just look in on a game for a minute or two if we don't get a game. No smoker. I remember this guy. This guy this guy is a longtime ICC player. No clue who he is. It's just um, you run into the same players on ICC over the years and just remember usernames. All right, Hard Rock Hotel. Let's go E4 in this game. A couple people have been asking for E4 games lately. All right, this gambit I do not believe in. <laughs> do not believe in this gambit. This is pure coffee house style play. But it's bullet, so what Hard Rock Cafe can get away with is uh, a lot different than what you are capable of getting away with in an OTB game. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Uh, like this example, I'm wondering check. Queen A5 check. So there's there's our refutation of his opening right there, folks. <laughs> I'm just going to push these pawns because I'm not really sure how else to play it. Uh, maybe if F5 I have Knight C5 business. I guess I'll do this. Let's see if he takes there. No, he does not. This is... I mean, I have some play. It's not It's not a lot. <laughs> it's not enough, but it's some. Uh, this is ugly. Check. I could take that with check, but where am I check. going after this? Just got to weaken his king, I suppose. Keep opening it up. Pin him. Maybe he'll take on f3. Maybe he'll want to simplify. Okay, I'm getting out of the pin now. Oh, he has rook f8, though. I rook f8. Okay. Well, we're going for comp compensation. Made on b7. Blunder it. <laughs> you know you want to. Uh, can I play rook takes b6 ever? Maybe. Doubtful, but maybe. Um. Oh, that threatens mate. That's nasty. It's quite nasty. Check. All right, we're playing for time now, folks. I am a time merchant. I'm playing shamelessly for the clock. And I don't care. Check. How you judge me about it? Because that's what bullet players do. We're survivors. Oops. Yeah. Check. Case in point. <laughs> that ridiculous game. Uh, I don't know what I should have done differently in that line. Uh, maybe. Maybe bishop b5 is not even good. It's a line I've never thought about. Well, I actually have seen this line before, but I've never seriously thought about it more than a few seconds about how to counter this, this gambit with c6. But he did a good job of generating play, Hard Rock Hotel. Yeah, and I missed the... I mean, as I was playing knight e4, I saw that he had queen a5. I just I don't really have a good alternative, do I? So, all right, back in the pool and seeing... Ooh, Eliana's playing. Okay, oh, and Zablotsky. Okay, so we've got a 2,500 in the pool. Zablotsky. Uh, Sergey Zablotsky, Fide, 2522. Interesting. Don't think I've played this guy before. His stats indicate that he's kind of inactive in one minute. He hasn't played recently. Eliana, we've certainly played a lot of games against. All right, Saya again. Saya is uh, usually sticking to the mate, the same set of openings for the most part. They don't seem to deviate too much. Uh, yeah, knight a5 is the move there. This is a weird Benoni. Benoni with the knight already on a5? 
which it never gets to a5 in a regular Benoni. Hmm, I'll be curious to see how they play that. Um, yeah, the downside is I can't really, I can't really stop them from playing b5, I suppose. I want to go e5. They can play knight c4. Okay, they're letting me go e5. This is nice. Don't know that they should have done this. Ooh, bishop f5. Bad. Bad, John. Okay. Check. Well, they didn't do it, but they can take on g4. They can do that. Okay, let's go here. Try to get a couple pawns in the center. At least connected. Um, come on. Just go attack with our king. Sure. That, that's one way to cover queen h4, right? Actually kind of dominate the position for the most part. Um, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I think this position is pretty good for me if I don't blunder into some tactic. Check. So now this knight has to move. Oh, Check. I'm giving an, a good option to move. Uh, let's go d6. Pass pawns must be pushed. Ta uh, okay. Check. Check. Ooh, that's mating. See how I announce check? <laughs> it's good karma when you announce check, despite ICC also announcing check. Check mate. That's a mate. Okay. All right. We got kind of lucky that game because um, my punishment of, of Saya's opening play was less than stellar, but I think they missed a couple good moves. Like after knight takes e5 and then knight b3, I think that was good. Rook b1, bishop f5 would have hit my rook on b1. I don't have any flight scores with that rook. Nor can I play uh, knight e4 because knight takes e4, bishop takes e4, and they could take my uh, knight on e5, like rook takes e5. So we're back in the pool, and I really want to get that Sablotsky guy if I could. That would be the dream scenario. Yeah, he found a new opponent. Well, same opponent, Eliana. Hmm. Zablotsky must have lost that game because he went down in rating. Eliana's going to win again. She's going to be up a rook. This is totally resignable. Eliana's not going to mess this up. Come to me, Zablotsky. Let's rumble. I want your rating points. Oh, Eliana. Okay, Eliana's pretty high rated too, so it's okay. So Eliana is, is pretty solid, um, but they're kind of slow, is my opinion of Eliana. Like they, they definitely know what they're doing. They're just they're just a little slow on the clock. Uh, let's go knight c6. That said, I mean I can't underestimate Eliana because this player is plenty capable of beating me. Um okay, let's castle. Queen back to d8. I can't take on d4 twice because they have this bishop takes h7 tactic. Slightly annoying. But I hope we can find a way around that. See if they take on f6. They do. Okay, now I might want to take this pawn. I will. Uh, let's take. They can go queen g3 and avoid mate. Um, let's go g6. I have to avoid mate myself. Let's go queen h4. I'm looking for a queen trade. Just really trying to badger them into a queen trade, basically. Yeah, they do take it. All right, so now I'm a solid pawn. Um, I have bishop d8 here to guard a5. This is good. I can maybe go bishop c6 and attack a4. We'll do that. We'll probably play bishop b5. Let's go bishop d5 now. Cutting off the rook, and I think if I get this rook over, now I'm going to go rook c3 and maybe double, or swing my rook over to a3. We'll just play some useful moves for now. Just bring our king out. Maybe play h5. And I can go rook a3 at any moment. It's good. Let me have this pawn, huh? Let's go h4. All right, rook a1. Looks solid. We've got this just really awesome bishop anchored in the center. Check. Our king is safe. Time. Yeah, this is uh, this is good. Let's go here. It's hard for them to move too. Hmm. Let's just go here. We'll turn the screws a little bit. So long as they have Check. difficulty making good moves. Yeah, and flag. Okay, back in the pool in the 2576, we got Eliana again. I'm going to make a run at 2600 this session. I'm 24 points away, but I'm playing 
pretty okay at the moment, so let's try to keep the train running and we'll see. No promises, you just never know in the bullet pool. As evidenced by a session I played uh, late last week, <laughs> things can turn around in an instant in the bullet pool. This is good because I'm threatening several captures on d5. Uh, that hangs the b7 pawn. Uh, bishop hangs. There goes the neighborhood. Yeah, that's too much material. Let's just go back here and do a queen trade. I'm fine with a queen trade if it um, simplifies the position. Eliana resigned. Yeah, I'm at 2585. Let's see if I can get to 2600. I want that Zablotsky guy. He might not be playing, though. Saya and Terror. I'm going to do the old enter and leave the pool. Try to get Eliana again. We'll watch this game for a second. Hmm. That move doesn't work. Bishop takes e5, bishop d6. All right, Eliana once more. Is it Scandi time? No, he doesn't let us. He's not letting us play the Scandi. Okay, we'll do this. This is... Check. I don't know what you would call this line. Like a uh, poor man's Carol Khan. <laughs> Already, this looks... Pretty okay for me. I don't know though. Maybe this bishop could encounter some problems. Um, I want to just like sacrifice that piece. I'm gonna go here. Maybe this is greedy, but uh, I'm not convinced by their play. Yeah, this this is probably a little bit too much what I'm doing, but I'm thinking like I can get my queen to h4, and Eliana's gonna burn some clock time trying to figure out what to do. Let's just pre-move that. They're going into the tank. Eliana, you can't spend this much time in a bullet game. I mean, I like that you are, from my point of view. I'm not lagging, am I? Please don't let me be lagging. No, I'm not. They are lagging. Okay, that's bad luck by Eliana. Yeah, they're, they're just lagging out right now. I'm checking their ping time. Okay. Yeah, it's it's speculative because they take on g6. I take with my h pawn. Uh, queen f3, I think would be the move, threatening mate. Uh, then I could take on e5, though, and then play queen h4, threatening queen h2 mate. But I have a feeling they could always like play rook e1 or maybe even queen g2 if necessary and run away. But their king is open, and that counts for something in bullet. I never know what ICC's rule is about... Um, timing out, like if you're lagging, at what point do you actually lose on time? Because clearly here they've they've gone way over time, but ICC is giving them like a grace period to reconnect. But um, that seems kind of strange to me that it would be taking this long. And I'm not lagging myself. I, my ping time is 39 milliseconds, so... Um, weird. I think around a minute it starts to flag them. And they're negative a minute. So my apologies that you guys just have to sit here and be bored and listen to me talk. Okay, so finally I won. I'm at 2593. We'll play a couple more. I'm not going to stop exactly if I get to 2600. But uh, especially since that was not really a game. Oh, Eliana's back. Maybe they just reconnected. Hmm. Who else is playing? Some 20. Oh, uh, that was Blitz actually. Saya's 2448. Okay. I'm waiting for Saya to get in the pool once he finishes that game. And this position seems balanced. All right, here we go, Saya. Let's bring the heat. Saya likes these, uh, I don't know, these, he plays a lot of D4, D5 systems. This one will not be one that they'll be willing to repeat. Already, black has to be extremely careful. Um, let's go to E5. Yeah, they have to be very careful now. Mm, 
Do I settle for that? I guess so. Check. Let's give it a check. Um, okay, let's go d5. We're going to try to take him in the center. Oh boy. Check. This has got to be just money for me. The knight is hanging, but they're trying for some discoveries. Are you kidding? I don't have something in this position. That would be ludicrous. Rook a3. Uh, crazy, crazy. Okay, I'm just castling. Can't think for too long about various tactics. You just gotta go with something. Mm, okay, take it. Sure. Discovery on the rook uh, and the bishop. Just gotta go with something. If you think too long in bullet, you're dead. You're dead in the water. So even though that position just looked like looked amazing for me, I can't sit there and calculate every Time single morning. ramification. It's a good way to lose on time if you do that. Okay. All right, let's just win that c6 pawn and get on with business. Yeah, they're playing fast, as Saya tends to do. Check. Check. No pre-move. Check. Check. I'm gonna get them here. Check. Check. Yeah, there's no escaping this. Okay, I made it to 2600. I'm 2603. We're playing again, though. Might as well keep going. There's some decent players playing right now, too, for a pretty late night session. Sias from Chile, huh? Yeah. I wonder if I had something in that position. This is the position that gave me fits after knight c6. <laughs> These pieces just look so awkward. I just don't see a tactic, because clearly we'd want to be looking at discoveries with the knight on his king on f7, but where is the killer move? If knight e3 check, bishop e6 is the issue. So I don't... I don't quite see anything. Let's check the engine. Bishop d2. Well, I kind of did something along the lines of that, didn't I? I played what? b4, attacking their rook. Uh, engine. My intuition was correct, I guess. Castles. Yeah, interesting. And then I was winning a piece. What about this opening? Felt like I should have had a bigger edge in the opening. Because bishop f5, you've got to be very cautious about bishop f5 early on in a queen's gambit. Because um, it can be met by exactly what happened in the game. This capture and then queen b3, hitting b7, hitting d5. Those are the weak spots in black's position. e4, hmm. Yeah, likes e4. So this is the most energetic way to, to play the position. Sacrifice a pawn, but give this useful check, and his king has to come to e7. If it goes to d8, I have knight takes f7 check. All right, pawn hash. Someone commented on one of my videos uh, recently that they really liked pawn hash's name. <laughs> so, good choice, pawn hash, I guess. Just think of like a, a pawn hash brown. I don't know what that would taste taste like. Probably like a normal hash brown from McDonald's or something. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. I just, it's kind of late at night and I find random things funny late at night. All right, let's go attack that pawn on e4. They have a hard time defending that. They might have to play the ugly move f3 if they wanted to defend it. Ooh, this is juicy. I will gladly take those light squares. Those light squares. Gotta be careful. Oh, he just resigned. Hmm. We well, could play g4, right? Didn't have to res resign quite yet. Okay, well, regardless, 2606. Let's play one more game. This has been a productive session. So, one more game. Saya? Will you be my Huckleberry? My final opponent of the night? 
Have you guys seen the movie Tombstone? If you haven't, go watch it. It's a great movie. Val Kilmer. He's awesome as Doc Holliday in that movie. It's a, it's an old western. Well, it's not an old western, but uh, it's actually it was made in the '90s. But uh, it's a western movie. And it's excellent. But Val Kilmer is uh, Doc Holliday. This is character in that movie, um, and he he calls um, one of the villains in the movie his Huckleberry. He's like, "I'll be your Huckleberry." So that's how I think of my bullet opponents sometimes. All right, so Michael Bluff is our last opponent of the night. This is a setup I have some familiarity with. We'll go b6 and fianchetto this bishop. Oftentimes they try to go g4, as he is doing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to open the center. I think g5. I'll play knight e4. Where's your knight gonna go? Where's it going? You can maybe play bishop g2, but I have this move. Aha, uh -huh, and your rook is hanging on g1. Sir, I see you. Yeah, so he can't take on e4 as he wants to. And his knight is very troubled. Yeah, this is just a piece. Now I get the gorgeous d3 square. This is... I won't jump into d3 yet. Oh, that's clever. I didn't see that move. Um, okay, I guess I'll take. Let's go to f3 instead. We will settle for f3. Although he can take, um, if he goes to take on g7, I have, yeah, I have this Check. move, queen h6. He could play queen e3, though. Check. Let's give a check, check here. He might have had queen b4, actually, in the previous check. move. Still, though. Ooh, queen h6. Is that a problem? I have king f7, queen h5. Check. Queen g6. Check. Oh, this is going to be forced mate. Check. Check. Oh, no. He can take with his queen, but okay. <laughs> Pretty much the equivalent. Okay. <laughs> that was a, a massive amount of material, so it doesn't matter that I blunder a rook at the end. All right. Well, we ended on 2610 this session. Pretty good session. Let's tabulate the results. I think so. I lost one game. So we started down here. Saya. Um... Is that right? Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 games. So 12 and 1 this session. Didn't face anybody higher rated, but we defended our uh, rating. And we even increased it by, oh, 60, 70 points. So that was nice. And we'll check the best list. Ooh, I rocketed up to number two. Oh, I'm at, oh my gosh. Black Horse is eight points away. All right, guys, we're back in the pool. We're going for that best list tonight. <laughs> we're going to do it. I could fall flat on my face and fail, but yeah, when I see that we're eight points away, we, we got to keep this train going. I don't know that I've been number one on the bullet list before. I think I've been number two, but there's always been guys like Multicast or the Black Horse dude. Um, Double Entendres has been really strong. Been guys like that lurking around. So give me a couple more wins against Eliana or Saya, and we're right there. All right, I'm getting one of those guys as soon as they enter the pool. Yep, Saya. So, hey, if I lose one game, you know, I took a shot. I took my shot and I missed. What can you say? As the famous sports cliche goes, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Isn't that right? Check. Mm, okay, let's go here. We'll target his queen. Uh, H3? B7 is kind of loose, uh, but I have a hard time attacking it. I'm trying to defend my... Okay, now I get this nice square again to work with. Mm, attack the queen. Uh, let's go bishop d4, sure. I'm thinking maybe even g4. Check. Rook e7. Let's go here, just defend everything. Move the knight, I want to go... Hmm. I really want... Um, hmm. I don't know what I want. Let's go... Let's go rook e4. Kind of floundering what to do here. Go rook g4, I gotta attack somehow. Bishop c5. 
we need seven. Not sure exactly what to do. I'm just trying to keep his pieces at bay right now. Mm, letting it into e5. That was not good. Uh, let's go here. Okay, hide the king. Hide the king. Push comes to shove at the end. Okay. Um, okay, back with this. They desperately wanted that exchange too. Check. 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 Ooh, I got him at the end. All right, 26-18, guys. I'll take that win. I'm at 26-18. Black Horse and I are tied. Ooh, okay. That was an all-out blitz fest at the end. I, I just gave back my pawn. <laughs> I, just, I wasn't going to try to figure it out. Man, I must have had something in that middle game. Because those two bishops lined up right against his king were dangerous. I couldn't find the knockout, though. Like, right around here? I don't know. I don't know if there is a knockout. I was trying to line up rook takes f7 or something like that. Just didn't work. Didn't quite work. Yeah, and I was kind of like a fish out of water. I was just flopping around trying, looking for some tactic. Didn't work, though. He kept having queen f7. This was annoying. Defending d7 and g7. He just kept defending, kept defending, defending. But good news is we played fast when we got 69 moves off there. And I kept, I held on to my rook at the end, so I have mating material. We're in the pool. Where'd Eliana and uh, Saya go? This is the highest rated game. Oh, there's Saya. Okay, it doesn't show up because Saya is technically not a title player. So that's why it shows the game of that Iman player. Let's keep an eye on the Saya game. Let's not uh, look at the other one. I'm sorry that this sometimes is out of view of you guys. Um, I'm not going to bother fully resizing it, but Saya is black in this game. Let's see if I can do it, actually. Eh, these windows get messed up. Basically, I have my capture window, uh, my screen capture window, lined up perfectly with what you guys want to see, but when it, I observe a game, it gets messed up. The game that I'm observing. Saya could be our final opponent, because looks like he's going to win this game against Pawn Hash. Well, maybe not. Queen takes d3. Yeah, probably with this time. You can't see it, but Pawn Hash has uh, 10 seconds left, basically. Hmm. Pawn Hash is white in this game. His name is cut off at the bottom. Saya gets Queen g2 in. Ooh, Super Cheese will be our last opponent. If I win this, I get, what, one or two points, maybe? Probably one point. Maybe two. Let's play fast. Let's keep it sharp against Super Cheese. Let's keep it cheesy. Know what I mean? Okay. I'll take on d5 next and try to attack c7. That's the plan. Huh. You can do that, huh? All right, let's go bishop c4. Not gonna not gonna play knight take c4, allowing the trade because I think their queen is a little uns or their their king is a little unsafe. So why would we want to trade if we think one of their pieces is unsafe? The most important piece, the king. Uh, let's go rook d1. Let's go here now. I changed my mind. Um. Okay. Let's go here. Do a trade. Let's withdraw this. I'm attacking c6. Uh, let's go rook d1. They can play knight b4 whenever they want. Maybe a luft move is in order. Okay. Knight c5. I think I'm still down a pawn in this position, but other than that, it looks good. Keep the pressure on the cheese. 
<laughs> my knight is like super annoying right now for them. I'm just literally moving it around, probing for threats. Time warning. Time warning. Oh, okay. Let's hide the king. Um, hmm, let's go here again. Attack c6. Finally blundered that pawn. I was trying to get Check. him to blunder it. All right, I'm up a rook. Cheese is on the way down. Yes, 26, 19. I got it, guys. I did it. Ta-da! Top of the bullet list. Sweet. <laughs> this feels a little anticlimactic. I feel like it should be like solitaire. Maybe there should be a bunch of chess pieces that like cascade across the screen. But let it be known that on March 18th at uh, a little past midnight local time, U.S. time, Central time. I, Finns, got to number one on the bullet list on ICC. Yeah. All right, let's play one more for good measure. <laughs> this has turned into a really long session. I'm sorry, guys. But um, I don't want to be that guy who just, like, barely squeaked out the top bullet record. I think another win would be, like, the noble thing to do. Just to really, just to really uh, you know, put a mark on it. Say like, yeah, I came here. I scaled that mountain. I planted my flag at the top of Mount Bullet. Problem is, there's not a lot of games going at the moment. But this will be our last game, whatever happens. Maybe we'll get Gray Sky or Eliana. Eliana, it is. Scandy again? Mycy's Gambit? They seem to like the Mycy's Gambit. No Mycy's Gambit this time. Not yet, anyways. Okay, this line I like playing against. Definitely don't mind playing against this variation. B4 would be a mistake because a bishop takes B4 now. Now they can do it. Uh, okay, let's just go back. We'll give them the bishop pair if they want it. I'm going to go knight d5 next. Okay. Now I'll go try to go bishop f6. They might look, be looking at sacrifices on e6. I don't think they work. Does that move really work? I don't buy it. Check. I do not buy it. Because you can't check me on the h file. So what's your follow-up, Eliana? What do you got? Rook e1? Rook e1, I'll play bishop f6. I defend. I know it looks pretty for you. Um, that actually is kind of problematic. Knight f8. Let's go bishop g5. Because if I had played bishop f6, um, some bad stuff might have happened. So I actually I had to give back a little bit of material, but I think I'm defending. I am defending. You just have to be careful now. Because it wasn't the position I once had. <laughs> Let's put it that way. I'm playing for probably a time win now. Time war. <laughs> to be quite blunt about the matter. Check. Check. Give you go, go back. Check. Let's go here. It's going to be a little too slow, though. It's not going to... It's too slow of a, of a push for them. Or take c4 as a threat. I didn't notice. I'll take that. Check. Check. Yeah, now we threaten mate. Check mate. Okay. Well, we got up to 26, 27. All right. I think that's a wrap, folks. Let's tabulate. That result. Um, okay, so we start down here. I'm going to count them again manually because I'm a noob. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right, went 15 and 1. And uh, got to number one on the best list. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. Um, as always, please leave me any feedback in the comments if you have it. And I'll be back tomorrow with another bullet video, hopefully, uh, pushing this even higher. If if uh, 
if the stars align and I'm able to do that. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.